Um, this, uh, the future was wide open. What does that mean? We talked about it. Endless possibilities, right? Anything can happen, uh, things like that. They moved into a place they both could afford. Why is this important? What's the symbolism? Well, it means they don't have money, right? If they have money, they can afford anything. Don't need to think, just, just move in, right? They need to consider, hey, can, can we afford this place? Do we have enough money? Right? So it tells us what they're starting, young people starting from zero, right? Money's tight, they don't have extra money, they're, they're struggling, right? Um, she taught him chords. What did that mean? Well, again, it means he's starting from zero. He's got a dream, but he's got no ability, right? Guy can't even play guitar at the beginning. He's really starting from, we say starting from scratch, from zero, right? So everything, all these, these words, there's not many, but they all have meaning. So I might ask you about these. They met movie stars, partied and mingled. What does that mean? Well, it's the lifestyle, right? It's a cliche, but people say sex, drugs, rock and roll, that rocker lifestyle, you know? Um, this kind of thing, the A&R man says, I don't hear a single. Well, this is bad news, we talked about it. Why? What does it mean? So this is the kind of question I'm going to ask you. You know, what you think some of these lines mean? Why are they important? What do they tell us about these characters and their situation? Right? Again, not really so much the correct answer. That the, there are correct answers, but there's more than one. You know what I mean? I want to hear what you think and why. Why you say that. I'm giving points for how well you can explain yourself, okay? So try to be clear. I'm not worried about perfect grammar. This is not a grammar test or a spelling test, okay? So don't freak out about like perfect, beautiful sentences and do your best, okay? But if I can understand what you mean, you will get your points, even if the grammar's not so good, okay? Do your best, but it's, don't worry about it. Don't think, oh, my grammar's bad, I'm gonna fail this. You won't. If you can get your ideas down on the test paper and make me understand, your thinking and your meaning, you'll do fine, okay? Um, I also asked you to think for this song about how you would continue the song, and I'm gonna ask you that, so you can plan this one too, okay? Um, the song doesn't finish in my mind, right? We, we, we talked about like a story arc, we've got the beginning here starting from zero, got a dream, right? Chasing the dream, boom, out here, doing what you have to do to make the dream come true, and there's all this possibility. Anything could happen. Oh, we're here. Uh, success, right? There's signs in this third verse that they've made it. They've reached a, a level of success. Their dream is coming true. Now, boom, here. Looks like maybe, maybe too much partying, maybe too many late nights, maybe not enough focus on the music or on the practicing or whatever, distractions, whatever, and now we hear, uh-oh, this, this music you're making, Ed, this is, this is no good. People aren't going to buy this. People aren't going to like this. So we have like the dream going up, 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 success, and then uh-oh, now we have a problem. So what do you think is going to happen next? And why? Tell me a story. I want to read different stories. I get bored marking test papers. If I just read the same answer again 40 times, I got two other classes, I can read 120 answers to the same. I feel like a robot. <laughs> I don't like it. I'd rather read 40 different versions of how this story ends. And again, explain why. All right, that's why I'll probably put that in the question. Tell me why you would end the story this way. Why do you think this is going to happen? And again, base it as much as you can on what you know about the characters, what you know about the situation that they're in. You can use your imagination, of course, right? To, to, I expect you to use your imagination, all right? But again, you should refer back to the song lyrics to explain why. Well, I say this because I think that they were already partying so much that it would be hard for them to get out of that, that party lifestyle, you know? So I don't think his career is going to pick up again. Or maybe they well, I think, I think, you know, his career's gonna take off again. Maybe they're gonna have like a, a second win, you know? They're gonna, they're gonna get it together, they're gonna focus. Maybe they'll, they'll talk and say, hey, listen, remember our dream? We're, we're losing it here if we don't do, you know what I mean? You, you, can, you can write basically anything, but I wanna hear how you explain 
yourself on why you write what you write. Does that make sense? Yeah, so you have a lot of freedom, but you have to be able to base your answer in the song lyrics, the stories and the characters and their, their situations. All right? So that's, that's your test. Again, it's a closed book test, so you can't bring any notes in. So you're going to have to remember this stuff, okay? I think a great way to study, if I was in your position, I would just get these lyrics open on my phone or my computer or whatever. I would go to YouTube and I would listen to Into the Great Wide Open and let Tom Petty sing to me and I would read the lyrics and I would just let that story go in my brain that way. And I would review my notes, of course. I've got a PPT here. I'm, if you need it, there's all these lectures. Everything that I'm recording here, I'm putting online. I'm going to put this up online later today. So if, if you think it is helpful for you to watch any of these lectures, again, they're all here for you. Goodness, there's a lot of them. If you want to torture yourself, you can watch these lectures again. If you think it's helpful, I would encourage you to do that. You could make study groups with classmates and sit around and talk about your ideas, if you find that's helpful. If you are struggling to understand either of these songs, you can come and see me in my office, which is upstairs on the second floor in this building. I'm in my office. I'm in my office on Mondays from just after 3 till 4, and I'm in there on Thursday mornings. If you want to come and talk to me about these songs, I'm happy to talk to you. My office is D218, the Earl, just upstairs. I'm happy to talk to you during my office hours if you think that would help you to talk about these songs. Um, so make sure you study, okay? I'm, I'm confident that if you study and prepare, it's, you'll do well on the test. I'm also confident that if you don't study at all, you're really going to have a tough time here, so do yourself a favor and study for this test, okay? I don't want to see all these empty spaces there with nobody writing anything in there. Leave the, leave the answer blank. All right? Anybody have any questions right now? No questions. Well, let's get out of here then. Shaku, have a nice weekend, a nice safe weekend. Please drive safely on campus and off campus. We do not want any more tragedies, yeah? Sometimes I talk to students, we talk about the speed limit, the 30 foot, and students laugh, oh, it's ridiculous. But you know what? If we all just drive slower, it's a safer campus and nobody has to get hurt and nobody has to die here, right? So let's all just, be safe and drive as best we can, carefully and slowly.